Hi, welcome to Knit with Hannah and Happy New Year. I'm going to talk today about different knitting styles. Hi, welcome to Knit with Hannah. I'm Hannah. I'm here with Knitting Natter to help you learn to knit the easy way. Yes, I'm talking about knitting styles today. What does that mean exactly? Well, what I'm going to show you is different ways that people pick up the needle and start making stitches. So there are lots of different ways that people hold the needles. And that's because knitting has grown up in so many different places around the world. It's generally the same thing. We're knotting and we're making stitches to create larger pieces of fabric. But because it's grown up in so many different places, different styles have grown up too. And some have their advantages, some have their disadvantages, some are more comfortable, depending on what shape of body and hands and fingers you have. So I'm going to show you all of that today in the video. If you like what you see, do give me a thumbs up while you're watching and you can subscribe as well. The button's below and hit the little bell for notifications too. Right, let's talk about some knitting styles. When I was growing up, I had a few people around me knitting and they all knitted with the English traditional style. And I was taught this and copying everyone else around me, it was just natural. So English traditional is sometimes called throwing. And I was taught to hold my right hand needle as if I was holding my pencil, as if I was about to write with it. That means that it's sitting in the little um, area here between the knuckles of the thumb and the forefinger and I'm holding it with my fingers like this. So when I pick my knitting up I wind the yarn just around my little finger to give it a bit of tension and I am looking at the knitting needle from above I can see what's happening on the needle and as I make each stitch I don't have to let go of the needle. There are um, people who describe English knitting as knitting like this but having to let go of the needle every time you create a stitch. Well I was taught what is called the English traditional method and it means that you're knitting every stitch without letting go of the needle. So I'm not having to let go, I'm not having to create the stitch like this. It's still called throwing because the yarn is being held in my right hand. And I'm using the left hand a lot. You can see, why are these stitches twisted? That's so funny. Um, you can see as I create the stitch that my left hand is actually moving the needle, moving the stitches as well. And sometimes, that's another twisted stitch. Sometimes as I knit, I notice that it's my left hand sometimes doing more work than my right. And as the stitches get longer, on the as the knitting on the right hand needle gets longer, I start to hold it from underneath the knitting, not just squashing up the knitting like this. I start to hold it like this. And again, that can mean I see what I'm doing. I can see these stitches very easily. And just by moving the yarn around like that, not having to let go, it becomes faster. So that is my English traditional. And I use the same method when I'm purling as well. If I hold the needles in the same way, it seems quite simple. But the needle goes underneath the yarn instead of over it. And this is how I purl. It is exactly the same thing. I kind of hold on to that needle and let it leave around. I don't let go. It's still supported in this hand. But the left hand does a little bit more to help it with the pearl stitch. I don't have to let go, which might feel clumsy like this, and it means that it would be slower. I hold on to it like this. Now, this is English traditional, and it's what I've grown up with. It's what my grandparents use. It's the method they use when they were knitting. It's how my mum taught me to knit, and it's how I've always knitted. So any other method has just felt odd to me. So forgive me if I look a bit clumsy while I'm knitting in the other methods. I've practiced them because some ways I've needed them to 
use other knitting techniques. For example, holding the yarn in my left hand is easier for me because I know how to crochet. I've practiced crochet. I learned to crochet by holding the left hand around the hook with my thumb on the second finger and holding the third finger out so I have the yarn just with a bit of tension here. A lot of people will knit and this holding the yarn in the left hand is called continental method knitting. Generally speaking, that's what you would call it. Some people call it the European. Um, but some people will have it, the yarn standing out here. I have the tension caught in my left little left pinky finger again, just like I do when I'm holding the arm with my right hand, so it doesn't change that much for me. But some people will hold the tension around the second finger and that's where you get the tautness with each stitch, so the stitches aren't loose and they're even. However, when I'm knitting with my left hand, in, uh, the, the yarn in my left hand, I would generally be doing this because I'm doing colour work. So I'll have yarn in my right and in my left and I'm switching between the two colours. So this might look awkward for me and as you see I missed that first stitch and I tend, I find that I'm using my left hand too much. My left wrist gets involved rather than using the fingers so much. Um, but this is, it's not slow but it's not fast and I find yes that I feel it in my left wrist so it's not as comfortable. Um, for me to knit like this. Um, and if I was holding the needle with my third and thumb finger, it's more aligned to what more knitters would do, and I just find that too awkward. Um, and this is also interesting when it comes to the next method I'm gonna show you too. Um, my fingers just aren't shaped to hold the needles like that, so I just say, well, if it's not working, it's not working, so I won't do it. <laughs> right, let me switch around the other side and I'll show you how I purl. I'm going to knit three first three stitches so I've got that border still. I missed that on the last purl row. Right, it's starting to curl. Right, now the stitch, the needle, sorry, the yarn has to go to the front of the left needle because we're starting to purl. So it can sit there. What I tend to do, and I've seen other knitters doing this, this is also the method you're likely to use if you do use Portuguese knitting. I have the yarn around my thumb if I'm doing purl row and it is that simple. It's flick, done, flick, done, flick, done, flick, done, flick, done and I actually I find that a lot easier sometimes than the knit row <laughs> because I'm not using any other part of my hand really other than my thumb to move the knitting move the stitches they can be a bit tight so I have to be really careful especially if I'm doing color work so that the stitches from the right and the left hand yarn um, are more even but generally speaking this works quite well for me but if you are a continental knitter, you're likely to be purling and still holding the yarn with your forefinger here. When it comes to knitting, it is what is comfortable for you. Your hands are going to be different to my hands. Your hands are going to be different to every other knitter that you see on YouTube. And that's what I'm going to show you now. Because this third method, which you might call flicking, um, is another method of knitting that personally I find really awkward and that is holding the right hand needle from above but just like I hold it from below and I don't let go holding it from above and moving the yarn with the forefinger and not letting go of the needle you can see I'm finding that really awkward I cannot let go I cannot really hold on to it and keep knitting, finding it awkward. And that reason is because, firstly, my fingers are relatively short um, and I don't have the prominent joint in my thumb as well. If you have longer fingers and you have that joint so your thumb is able to bend more, you will find it very comfortable, probably possibly more comfortable than, um, than other methods to use this method to knit. Um, this style of knitting um, 
can mean that you can be much faster, you can improve the speed of your knitting, you'll get through projects and you'll feel more motivated to keep knitting. I'm finding this awkward. <laughs> and actually, that's actually starting to hurt. So I will carry on knitting along this row in the way that I find it most comfortable and then we'll just go along the back, see if I can purl um, while flicking um, and we'll just see what happens. So that's three methods of knitting. The first method, the English traditional, is this way and I find that most comfortable. The second method was continental and that's holding the yarn in your left hand and using your fingers to create the tension. And this method of flicking is about holding the right hand needle from above. And yes, I'm actually starting to feel that painful. Now I've done it a few times um, and I'm having to let go just because my thumb says, uh uh, you're not doing that. You reckon you got a longer thumb? You reckon you got a joint? But you haven't, so <laughs> stop it. <laughs> So I'm going back to my normal method and this is the fast method. Actually this is also called the American fast knitting method. Um, I've seen it advertised as a DVD. Learn the American fast method of knitting and basically it's teaching you to hold the needle in the crook of your thumb and your forefinger so that you can A see what you're doing and so that B you don't have to let go of the needle so much when you're throwing the yarn around the end of the needle. There you go. Three methods of knitting, all of them work, and all of them work with different shapes and sizes of hands. So do what feels right for you, go away and practice a few. You can even go and look up some more if you like. There is Portuguese knitting, there is um, Russian knitting as well, and it really is totally dependent on what you choose, what you prefer. All of my courses show me knitting in the English traditional way. That's just the way it is because that's how I knit. And all of my YouTube videos show, show me knitting that way too. I find it really fast um, and I find that it works totally for me. I do hope that was helpful for you. You now understand different styles of knitting, the English traditional, the continental and lots of different other styles in between as well. So let me know in the comments, which way do you knit? Do you knit one way or the other way? Or do you have a mix up? Which is most, most comfortable for you? And if you're just starting to knit, have a little experiment and see which way you like to hold the needles and the yarn. If you would like to know more about my knitting style and how I teach knitting, then come over and have a look at my website, knitwithhannah.co.uk. You'll find that I have a beginner's knit and natto all set up ready to go. We're in the Facebook group having fun already. We are going to do live Q&A calls as well for six weeks during January and February. So you can ask me anything and then I can help you discover which is the most comfortable way you want to knit and how you can move your techniques on as you get better at knitting too. Great. Thank you so much for joining me today. I will see you again soon, I hope. Bye for now. Happy knitting. Bye.